Right now, there's so much social media. There's so many, so many people behind that fucking phone or the keyboard, like they say, talking shit. But they won't say it in his face. Never. They will, they will never say it in his face. But, uh, but, but you know, because of social media and all that, that's why everybody, that's why Danny Garcia gets all that shit. But look, now he's fighting Kitterman. What can people say now? He's fighting the, the toughest fight out there. The big, probably the, 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 the best Walter in the, in the division. He's fighting him. If he wins that fight. And his next fight, he fights at his hometown. He wants to do it for his fans. He did it right before, yeah. If he wants to do it for, and fights a fucking cherry picker guy, whatever, I don't, you know, you know what I mean? People are going to go back to criticize him. He already beat Keith Thurman. What does he have? To, so what do they want him to fight fucking Golovkin next? <laughs> That's true. People are just, not, you're just never, never yeah. going to please... That's right, Mikey. Right, so you're never gonna make everyone happy. At this point, with Danny, they've already talked so much about him in the negative way. They already have him there. So it's like with Manny. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fine with Manny, but it's not it's okay a good with vibe for him. You know, it's just the way people relate to a certain fighter. Double standard sometimes. Double standard sometimes like that. Yeah, but Danny, Danny's proven he's fought a lot of the yeah. best guys. You know, in the divisions. I mean, Khan. He beat when nobody thought he could do it. Khan, same thing. He beat Khan when nobody thought he could do it. Zab Judah? You know, he, that's what I mean. So, you know, if he took a few easy fights, fuck. Who cares? Fucking, why not? Why not? Get paid for easy fights, fuck. You know, if if, if I was in this, in, you know, when I was fighting in boxing, was like this, fuck, it would be... It would be a, <laughs> You'd still be fighting. <laughs> Take a big awesome. payday. His title defense were all against my number one. Number, number one killers. Number both one. my both my title defenses were against my number one, number one, mandatory, one contenders. Number one mandatory contenders. Well, that's your management, Robert. I don't know who was managing I, you, but but they should have been smarter back then. It was I know. more about you know the pride and the fuck number one. I want I want people don't give a fuck. I'm, I just I just told you guys, Peter Petrov beat Mike Perez. Yep. Title eliminator. See or no? Yep. WBA title eliminator. Who's Peter Petrov fighting next? Not the champion? Uh, no, he's already out. He's fighting what's in the WBO champion at, at from England. Flanagan? Flanagan. <laughs> he fought for a mandatory. Yep. For the WBA mandatory. Flanagan? And now he's fighting Flanagan for the title. So what does that tell you? That they don't give a fuck about mandatories anymore. <laughs> they don't give a fuck about title eliminators anymore. They just do it to sell it and TV oh title eliminator. But look, he won the title eliminator, he should be fighting the, for the You're WBA. Right. He's fighting the WBO champion now. He's taking the fight you wanted. He should, he should, be, fighting, he should be fighting. He should be in line for uh, Krola or Linares. Exactly. He's a mandatory. mandatory. He's a mandatory. It shouldn't be that they're saying the winner has Me. has to fight you. No, yeah. the winner has to fight the man, the the the, yeah. the one that did the title eliminator, which is which is uh, Peter Petrov. The but WBC, instead, the WBC is, wants to do the winner of my fight with the winner of them. Yes. Fight. Because WBC had Linares like right, jumping in recess, right, right. but the WBA already has their mandatory with Petrov. Yeah, they should be pushing that one. They should be pushing but they're that allowing one. maybe unless they got a better deal to go fight of Flanagan course. right away. You know, it's all business. It's business. It's business. But I'm saying, Robert, when you were champion and they gave you some easy fights in between, defend the two, three times, build more following. It's good business. Yes, uh, that's why I don't fucking blame Danny Garcia for doing it. Why wouldn't it? Chavez did it in his career. Everybody does it, Robert. Chavez Most did it. Most fighters do it today. Yeah, you know everybody does it. So why why can't he do it? Why why can't why can't Danny get away with it? It's just that he already got that reputation, and people are gonna fucking keep talking shit. You know I'm telling you, he if he beats Thurman and then he wants to get an easy fight, people are gonna go back to <laughs> talking shit. He just beat Keith Thurman, guys. Come on, give him a break. That's true. Right? Yeah. Just it's, it's it's fucking harsh right now with with all this. <laughs> like you said, it's social media. Social media is fucking brutal, man. They they they're crazy. Are you on social media? 